Hey, we're live. Hi, Lee. Hello, people. Hi, good morning. Hello. Welcome to Yab. We have a new cast today. Hey, um, everybody. Um, my name is Lee. And my name is Devin. I work as a videographer here. And I am a copywriter. I don't know. Is my is, is my mic covering my face? No, you're good to be with this. Is this, this isn't too close, is it? No, you're good to be with it. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, to let you guys know, we aren't we aren't like the best um, people in front of a camera. I wouldn't say that I specialize in being in front of the camera. I don't do it very often, but that's okay. I think you're doing very well. Thank I'm I'm not really I'm I think I'm even less in front of the camera, but I mean I don't know, man. I mean, it's if my parents, if my parents see this somewhere, they're just gonna be happy that I just like that I'm, that I'm in a room with lights on me and I just have a podcast mic and yep. they'll be like, oh yeah, he's doing well. Yeah, he's you know? he's doing things with himself. Exactly, he's like, like, yeah, let's go, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you have <laughs> we've done it. You, you we've made escaped it. Samoa. <laughs> we've invaded. <laughs> we oh no! <laughs> <laughs> like, send us back some money, son. <laughs> We no, don't I, hear from you anymore. <laughs> my my parents are like, I don't know, like 10 blocks away. So they'll probably be like, they'll still be like, send me money. Send money. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just, like, your mom just calls you. It's yeah, like mid podcast. Oh, like, just hey, like, I saw you on the live. It looks like. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's your bonus? <laughs> I'm in a podcast, mom. Yeah. Ma, get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a podcast, mom. Not right now. Get out of the room. <laughs> okay. Um, Gosh, so how are you this morning, Lee? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I um, I I felt a bit, a bit um naughty this morning. I'm not, not probably not it? in the way naughty. Naughty? You? Yes, probably not in the way that you you probably are imagining. May, maybe exactly the way I'm imagining. Yep, Continue. Exactly. So I did get that pie, and um, when I <laughs> when I got off the train, because I don't normally wake up like as early as this but mm-hmm. like since i knew that we were doing the, the podcast today i was like you know what my bus comes in 20 minutes and i'm just standing on the side of the road and have you seen that like that drake meme where he's like he smells a pie and he just starts floating <laughs> so like, like that, that, like that happened to me this morning because <laughs> the, the ai generated like because there's, there's a bakery <laughs> right in front of the bus stop mm-hmm. and it's just like wafting this smell and i'm just like i have to stand here for 20 minutes and just you know what i'm just it's friday it's, hey, it's, yeah, it's right. Friday, so that I went so and good. I got myself a mince and cheese pie. I'm so proud of you. That Thank is, you. you know, you know, you you work hard. You deserve it. How about how about you, Devin? I I heard you got here quite early. I did, yeah. So normally I'm a I'm an I'm an eight thirty kind of guy to roll up because you know right in time for the huddle and everything. But I was here at like seven uh, because I I got to leave early because I mean I don't know if I want to get into the nitty gritty, but I got to get. My teeth worked on. Your teeth? I got on. I got a dentist appointment. Yeah, and it's like your, your teeth are fine already. They 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 feel fine to me, but it's mm. no, it's one of those things because like I actually, and I mean some people were like you know like again because I literally had my wisdoms out like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, and so but what happened was like they they grew back. They yeah they're back with a vengeance. <laughs> they grew back and now they have to be re-removed. I see. Yeah, right. No, but like they um. No, they operated. They got. I had to get all four removed, and it was it was fine. But uh, as they were working on it, there was like one tooth that they thought, you know, it looked fine. It was like right next to one of the wisdoms, and yeah. then it basically cracked while they were working on it. Oh. So they were like, so they they were like, you know, okay, no, you got to come back asap. So yeah, so it's been about six weeks. So. Okay. So yeah. is that is that ASAP in like that, that's, dentist that's, terms? Like you that, have to be back here like as soon as possible. So we'll was, book you in for next year, January. He was he was actually like come back next week. And I'm like, uh, money. <laughs> you're, you're just like, I'd love to like let, let, let me get paid. I'll I'll prioritize <laughs> as soon as possible after I have the money to prioritize that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so I'm leaving like okay. a, li- a little bit later, but like I had to come early and then because I just, well, that's why I came early to make up time and I happened to be around and y'all need people on this podcast. Exactly. You know, you know, and our, our bosses have left us. Yep. Yep. Um, I, Johnny I, I, and Stan have um, just disappeared. They've yeah. gone missing and now we have to yeah. stand in place and. I, I saw like they won't be able to tell the difference. Like you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a big brown salmon. <laughs> I just have hair and and your 
not Asian. No, I mean, I'm <laughs> Caucasian. <maybe>. Caucasian, <laughs> yeah. I wish I, wish, I wish I wish I didn't say it like that towards the camera. Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> Very directly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cut, cut that, cut that. <laughs> um, cut that. Abdul's like, yeah. it's a perfect short. Yeah. And I saw, I, I, I thought I saw Stan around the office, but may, maybe it was just like a. Stan is here. It was in like a poltergeist. The spirit of Stan. The spirit. His, his aura. Casper. Is yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's Stan. Have you have you heard? Do you know? Do you? So you know Casper the ghost. Of course, of course, yeah. <laughs> Casper the friendly ghost. Yeah, right? yeah. Do you know what's the name of his two brothers? What's that? Fatso and Stretch, and Stinky. He has three brothers. What? Yeah, I'm serious. Okay, I'm I'm serious. You can fact check me on that. What a shitty but, parent. But like <laughs> Casper, parents. Casper has three brothers called Fatso, Stinky, and Stretch. <laughs> so like. So have you seen have you seen the really old Casper movie where um it's like real life? Mm, like, yeah, yeah. And then he turned into a boy at the end. Mm. Like mm-hmm. a real life boy. Yeah. And his three brothers in that movie. It's oh, just, okay. It's not very nice names for older brothers, but they So if he's got brothers, I assume he's got parents. He does. Maybe. So like I, I actually don't know. Did they like Does Casper have parents? Did they fuck his ghosts and then produce <laughs> ghosts or like were they all alive at some point and then <laughs> <laughs> and then they just died and then, and then they were just like to cope with the death we'll just, we'll just all pretend that we're like siblings you'll be mom i'll be dad i don't know oh oh fuck i, I didn't think of that I feel like we should talk some about kind of, the news later. Kind of we but should time. move on let's talk about the news yeah. letter yeah let's talk newsletter man yeah, yeah. Um, what's happening what do we want to get started with i think we should get started with the um Glossier. Yeah, we were just talking about this. So the yes. head title is, and for the live, we are going over the newsletter. Your attention, please. Subscribe now. Please. Always plug. Please, subscribe. Um, subscribe the headline is, newsletter. Glossier makes content out of hate comments. Have you guys read the newsletter? Yes. Do you mind oh, breaking it bit. down? Yep. So what I, I, I'll put my notes, but whatever call, they got into some some hot water. Yeah, Glossier. read it. Glossier did, the skincare brand. Yeah. Yep. And due to them... Coming up with a new reformula. Yeah, but they've like, they've embraced the hate, risen from the ashes, it seems. Yeah. Because, doo doo doo. Uh, I had it. Yeah, they, they like have a new a new campaign. Yeah, so they came so up they, with this video. Uh, yeah. Like reacting to the hate comments. Yeah. To it, the thing. Is it kind of like, is it like a mean tweets? Kind of like Jimmy Kimmel? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. But it's more like a person just going around the office and making them read like, the most upvoted Reddit comment on their threads and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's just really good to see, like, because I mean, usually you don't see yeah. brands just, like... I, like, I think it's good because, like, it just mm-hmm. showcases that a brand is able to, like, laugh at themselves mm-hmm. or are kind of aware of what's what people's opinions are on their brand. Yeah. Because, like, mm-hmm. you know, you see, so you see a lot of brands, I can't name them off the top of my head, that they'll get a hate and they'll just like kind of shrug it underneath the rug, pretend mm. it's not there. But like they've done it. They've done, they're have they making money and marketing off the fact that they're getting hate, you know, yeah. and this is like attracting more people and they're like, and yeah. people that hate them might even like have a, like a 180, you know? Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, these yeah. guys are able to laugh at it. At, you know, exactly that. Kind of yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it totally reads that like, cause, cause I mean, authenticity goes a long way. So yeah. I think people will, People, I would, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how successful the campaign's been so far, but, you know, I know people will see that and they'll think, it, it, it reminds, it, it does remind buyers that, like, there's real people behind, you know, behind the screen getting the comments and everything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think just to see that, you know, it's un, in one way, it's a reminder of like, oh, yeah, you know, these are real people that you're talking at, but then also, yeah, it's just, yeah, like you said, just tells them that yeah oh they're oh they're humble they seem like nice people can take it to you know take take it on the chin so yeah they're able to yeah. like acknowledge when they're being when they're being critiqued from other people mm-hmm. they're able to take stakeholder feedback whether it's in a funny way or like a reflective way but just being able just to not like push what other people say on like not push it away from you but being able to take that 
and read it, even if it is turning into content or not, just showcases that you're able to grow. So Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you can't beat a brand that's self-aware. Totally. Oh, totally. It's like those, if, like, this is a bit off topic. It's just like, you know, have you seen when Wendy's was like commenting on like a mm. lot of TikToks? Oh, yeah, section? yeah. Yep. You see a lot of mm. brands doing it nowadays. Like, there'll be like a viral video and then you'll just see like a random brand, like, um, like Bookings, mm. uh, Bookings.com commented on, um, Sam from Health Now. It's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, things like that. I feel like this is how collaborations happen. Just could happen just from like little comments, you know? Oh, yeah. to- oh, totally. That's the, that's the direction we're going. And I mean, exactly. No, I've seen things like was it like Macca's, McDonald's? Like I, I swear I've seen them do some stuff mm. um, around like you know the memes around like the Birkin ice cream machine, yep. you know play playing to that, and, and, and I think, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything <laughs> else to add on close here? I mean, just like I mean, well, I mean, well, they they they're getting backlash because. They yeah, changed the formula. Yeah, we should make. Done. Yeah, we should make right. that clear. Yeah, yeah, it's a reformulation of their lip balm. They didn't get canceled or anything. No, no, nothing like that. Just, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, it's like a rebrand. I, kind of. Yeah. The one thing I wonder is that I wonder if they like after poking the the fun at themselves. I wonder if they go back to the original formula. Do they just like stick with the with the new mm. one now? That's a good point. Yeah. Well, there's like there's two directions you can go with it, right? Like yeah. you either ride the wave that you're you've completely changed, and then you just deal with like the backlash that comes with it until people are just, they just get kind of like, they don't care anymore, you know, because yeah. mm-hmm. people are gonna divert their attention to hate on something else, right? Yep. Or, they do it as a way to like, draw attention back to them that they've changed something so they can revert. Right, and if they revert back to their old formula, it it also kind of like showcases to their their target audience that like, hey, we're listening to you. You know, we've we've decided mm. to change back, and I guess that's I don't know. It's yeah. Like, guess I guess we have to follow because yeah. I mean I mean that that I mean that because I feel like the tone the, the tone of the campaign shifts a bit. If they're like you know oh, you know okay oh you got us you know we'll take your hate we'll you know mm. you know be you know take it on the chin like that, but then they g- keep going. With yeah, it, you know that's. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm, but I mean, at the same time, people could totally forget, you know, why they were pissed off in the first place. But yeah, for sure. yeah I mean, I don't know that that'd be they'd be good to keep track of, yeah. to see where they go. Mm-hmm. Um, moving on to the next topic is why always the tissue brand why always is emotional ad got ninety million views. So in ninety one views, ninety million views. Oh, I thought you said ninety one views. I'm like that. <laughs> like, like, just like they, they need I was like ninety one views. Like, they need our help. That's, that's, <laughs> if that's they, the case, I was yeah. like, wow, it's always, it's not working. Always. Whatever they're doing, call me. Yeah. So um, their campaign is called hashtag Like a Girl. I think it launched mm. back in 2014 mm. or something like that. Let's talk about it. Give us a yeah. quick synopsis. Yeah, yeah. I, I need. I need my newsletter. All right, basically, you know how like growing up, um, okay, always is like a girl viral campaign got over 90 million views mm-hmm. and sparked discussion about gender stereotypes. This ad shows how brands can engage in important conversations aligned with their values. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I didn't so answer your question. Right. I'm just like, like, do you know what they... I'm, I'm looking they basically at showed a they, bunch of videos and photos mm-hmm. about like girls doing doing things or doing actions hashtag mm-hmm. like a girl so like, like doing mm-hmm. things that is like resonated with like the stereotype associated with their gender yeah so like running mm-hmm. like a girl playing sports I like see, a girl right mm-hmm. yeah about like owning it and bossing it not making it like because for the longest like a girl has always been like a almost like an insult right oh yeah yeah no, you, i get you oh, i get it right because you right. know it's just like oh, it's, you you scream like a girl yeah you, you know like, yeah you know you dress like a girl you do you know yeah. uh, like it's it's right. been used in a derogatory way always which that's which really cool man like, I, I think i like that I, I think that like you know taking that trend and just turning it into a way of empowering you know and like doing like a is it a is it a three sixty when you turn something around or is it a one eighty? A one eighty. It's one eighty. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> three sixty. Go back. Three sixty. Go back and then you just, just keep feel. going. <laughs> just keep heading in the wrong. It's direction. not working. <laughs> no, I think that's great, and that's like what's what's sort of like um re it's reclaiming the term a bit and reusing it. You know, mm-hmm. like what comes to mind for me is I mean, like like I know when I was growing up, like when I was in. When I was in primary school, I, a lot of people would use gay as an insult. You know, that's gay. You oh, yeah. know, you're being gay. You look gay. And then it's like, 
you know, these days, I mean, I mean, there, there's still a small few who still use it. I, I see out there, but like, you know, it's like at this point, it's like, is like, why is why was that even a bad thing? That's not a bad thing. Who gives? It, it just yeah. it falls flat as an insult. I feel like at this point because yeah, it's because it's, it's, it's like what what are be, you making fun of? Like, yeah, yeah. To be gay is totally normal. So it's exactly, like it's who, like completely fine. Yeah, but I feel like growing so, up, um, subjects like that weren't as fine. I would say, mm, like, yeah. not. <laughs> I mean, just like, like to talk about subjects like that was right. not as socially acceptable as it is now. Mm. Which I'm, you know, I'm very happy that the world has grown a lot more mature to be able to talk yeah. about things like that. Yeah, I mean, and like, mm. uh, like I feel like with this this campaign that they're they're doing, like a girl, it's just. It it's 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 a stereotype, like a sexist stereotype that a lot of people can understand because I feel like a majority of people in their life have been told that like that like a girl, like what mm. they're doing Oh totally is to be compared to being like a little bitch. <laughs> mm. yeah. And I feel well, like that's, that's what that means. Like Oh totally you scream it's... like a girl, so and what they're meaning is like you scream like a little bitch, you know? Yeah, it's like it's it's definitely like code for something that like mm. like like that you're that you're um yeah, like you said, you're a little bitch, but also it's like it's taking the ideas of being, you know, effeminate, of being more, you know, gentle, more sensitive, and it's like yeah. but it's like you know, making people feel bad, uh, especially men for oh. holding those qualities, which definitely. yeah. So uh, and, and at the same time, you know, when, like, even if you don't think too hard about, like, you know, when you say someone is being like a girl, even if you don't think too hard about the meaning behind it, that's still like, you know, if you're a woman, if you're a girl, that like, well, it just, it, mm. the, you know, phrases like that just reinforce those like negative stereotypes, yeah, you know, exactly. those sexist stereotypes. So I, I think this campaign's brilliant. I think really. also the interesting yeah. thing yeah. is that, like, the company that made it, so always it's a tissue brand. What do they have to do with like mm. gender stereotypes kind of thing? Yeah, like is there is there? <laughs> I don't know much about the brand. Is there anything they do that really pertains, like to any specific groups of people? This was yeah. the first ever campaign where it's like, oh, okay, there's actually like an identity to always because they're always known as like the flagship tissue brand. Mm. Yeah, but now like in 2014, like 10 years ago, they were like, okay, no, let's stand for something. Mm. Yeah, and so. It's, it it was a risky move, I think, and it, it just mm. it, it went it went well for them. It paid off. They doubled down. Yeah, well, well, because campaigns like this always don't. Yeah. They don't always work. Like what comes to mind for me is uh, was it Gillette, the, like yep. their campaign around toxic masculinity. Yeah, yeah, which you know, and I mean, I you know, I think definitely got to target toxic masculinity, but I don't, mm. I can't remember the specifics with that campaign, but they it, the message didn't really land. I remember, or, or what's it? Uh, <laughs> What was it? Pepsi was trying to communicate with Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? What did they do? Well, oh, this. Oh my God! It, it was some kind of ad she was in, and she gave a Pepsi to a cop at a protest yeah, or line of cops, and then what? they and they found peace through Pepsi. Yeah. It was in the middle of the BLM movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like right. Stuff. It was like right in the middle of that. Yeah. But yeah, that message did not land. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, we got two yeah. more minutes. Bolo Wait. asks, "Are you guys interns? What happened to Stan and Joni?" I am not an intern. And Devin is an honor. I am not an intern, but I don't know. We're not being paid to Stan do and Joni passed this. away. Mm. Hey. Sadly. Um, <laughs> yep. They, um, the funeral is tomorrow. Mm. It's really sad, but like, it's all right. You know, like we, we, we as a company have to keep growing. So we just yep. have to keep moving forward, you know? Yeah. I don't. Past Stan, past Joni, you know, we have to like mm. use their legacy and just. Yeah. Forward, it's. You know? I, I don't know if this is like too soon, but like, you know, you know, we, we like you, you see in all the other, you know, reels and everything about how, you know, Stan, he's like, you know, he's going to give Joni a bonus of some sort. Like they never said it was like cash or money or anything. Um, He was actually getting her, you know, and <laughs> well, I'm serious. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being serious. Yeah, no. You know, he's getting her. He actually got her a new car yeah. and was driving it, to, <laughs> driving it to work. And. It's crazy. It's no, no, he he tried. No, he was like, you know, he, well, what happened was he was he was trying to drive, you know, his own car as well, try, trying to drive two cars at the same time, and I see, it just yeah. didn't work out. It just wouldn't work because he was like stressed just, out, like just, a starfish, just, <laughs> trying to put his both legs. So on, like, on the so like, <laughs> I I don't know why Joni didn't make it, but you know he. Uh, 
<laughs> Stan's Stan he, he, is explainable. He, did, he didn't, you know, poor guy. I thought he thought he could drive two cars at the same time. It just wasn't meant to be. Yeah. Okay. Any Damn. last words? Um. Well, you um, should. You should have you, me in that chair next time. Have yep. Devin in this one. Fair. Yeah, that'd be we'll that'd be a nice switch up and uh, subscribe to the newsletter. Yes, and follow follow our our sexy LinkedIn's. Yes, Thank wherever you. They, yeah, wherever they may be. And yes, please, for the love of God, subscribe to the newsletter. We're interns, please. Your attention, pl- your attention, please. Search you up everywhere you listen to podcasts. Yep, 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 y